hello friends welcome to knowledge india i hope your learning of aws is going fine uh, i have put a link below in the description of this uh, uh, video tutorial you can go ahead and submit your request there uh, if you want me to make tutorial on any particular topic uh, in this particular uh, tutorial we are going to talk about ebs elastic block store we will see different aspects related to ebs we will go ahead and uh, try to understand its resizing etc okay and some of the new features which have been launched recently all right so let us get started i'm first going to launch two instances one would be uh, linux and one would be windows so let us go ahead and launch an instance so the first one i'm going to keep it linux all right quickly now important one in this ami the root device type is ebs okay and hence uh, when we come to the storage uh, step which is step number four we are going to get option to add ebs storage so see the root volume we cannot change its type because based on the ami the type of the you know the type of that volume is fixed and hence we cannot change it it is ebs you see that when you press this particular thing you see different types of ebs volume now there is something important here there are currently five types of ebs volume right there are two ssds general purpose ssd and provisioned iops ssd magnetic which is the older type and there are two more hdds uh, hdd types which came up right but they do not appear here why because the newly launched hdd ones they cannot act as your boot volume meaning you cannot keep your operating you cannot keep your operating system on that that's why you do not find it here if we go ahead and uh, try to attach another volume which will be of ebs type we will see them here right we see cold hdd and throughput optimized hdd so you can keep this hdds as secondary volumes but your primary or basically the boot volume can only be the two ssds all the or the older generation magnetic the magnetic is going away so it would not be available after a while okay all right so we'll go ahead and also see the it is linux so for linux the root volume should be mounted at or should be attached at slash def slash xvda Okay, we go ahead and I'll call it Linux. Um, this is okay. So launch. All right, while this is coming up, I am going to launch uh, Windows as well. Uh, okay, so anything I can just choose 2012 maybe. All right. In this case, uh, you see the in case of Windows, it is slash dev slash sda1. This is important that at what uh, location your root device should be, you know, should be attached to the instance. Uh, uh, so this is something which you need to remember. In case of Linux, it should be slash dev slash xvda. In case of Windows, it is slash dev slash sda1. If you put something else, it would not, uh, you know, it would not take it as the root volume. So please take care of that. Same way here as well. I'll go ahead. I'll and I will launch this instance. Okay, now we have launched two instances, and as you can see, uh, with the with the Linux, uh, the you know the uh, I can go ahead open the volumes, and we should be able to see it is five nine three. With the Linux, I've got an eight GB uh, eight GB volume, and with the Windows, I've got a thirty GB volume. Now. If in case you have to resize this, what will you do? So earlier the process was that we first need to take a backup of these volumes, meaning we'll go ahead, do a right click and we can create a snapshot. A snapshot is nothing but a backup, a point in time backup of this EPS volume, right? A snapshots are incremental in nature, which means, uh, for example, if I go ahead and create a snapshot of this particular volume now, it will just capture those blocks on this volume which are written okay and every further snapshot which i take are going to be incremental in nature which means the blocks which have changed from the previous snapshot only those blocks are saved so this way uh, i mean amazon has implemented a snapshot in such a manner that it saves money for you because with every snapshot you are storing only the incremental data 
right? Uh, also, before it stores it uh, in the S3, snapshots are always stored in S3. Before it stores it in S3, it is also compressed. So the amount of area or the amount of storage space which your snapshots take on S3 is put, uh, I mean, that is going to be really less, okay? So earlier, it, the way was that you'd go ahead, do a, you know, create a snapshot, and uh, then you create a new volume out of that. Let me let me show you that. If you say create snapshot, you can give it a name. Um, Snap Linux, let me just put this here as well. I'll just say create. You see encrypted, it says, no, you cannot change while creating the snapshot. Whatever is the encryption status of the volume, the same snapshot would get, right? I'll cover in a different uh, video about the whole encryption part. How can you, uh, you know, change to encrypted volumes? So uh, we should be able to go ahead and look at the snapshots. <coughs> so you see, uh, snapshot is getting created. Uh, one important thing, many times people get confused, what you see here as the size, okay, it is not the, see, it is the size of the Amazon EBS volume from which the snapshot is created. Many times we get confused and we think this is the size of this particular snapshot. No, it just tells that if, uh, what was the size of the EBS volume from which this snapshot is created. Also, if you choose this a snapshot and, you know, try to create a volume out of it, the default size, it will take this much. You can increase that as well, but you cannot decrease it. Remember, you cannot make like 5 GB out of this. You can make it 100 GB out of that. Yes, you can do that. All right, so uh, in the older mechanism, what I would have done was I would go ahead and say, uh, you know, from here, I would say create volume from this backup from, from the snapshot, I can I'll create a volume. And at that time, I can do any changes, meaning I can increase the size, I can make 8 to 100. I can also if I want change the type as well. So let's say first my instance had a general purpose SSD. And now if I want provisioned IOPS SSD, I can go ahead and change, you know, choose this particular thing and you know create my volume now it is important that you that you choose or, or you basically create the volume in that availability zone where your instance is there so if we go ahead and see our linux is there in availability zone a right so while we are creating this particular thing we should create it in availability zone a only right then only we'll be able to attach it now uh, for just for an example let me go ahead and create it okay now uh, if i go here and refresh I should see the new volume. See, the volume is available here. Now, what I need, what I'll have to do is, I'll have to detach the older volume and attach this new one. Now, before, if I try to, if I try to detach this, it should give me an error because it is the primary volume. Now, so I need to go ahead and first stop this particular instance, right? I'll stop this instance. Once it is stopped, I would be able to go ahead and detach the older volume let us just give it one minute taking a bit long. So in the meanwhile, let me tell you, so uh, this was the case earlier, but the good thing which has happened now, Amazon has launched uh, uh, elastic EBS volume, meaning now your EBS volumes can be resized without taking a snapshot. Okay, I'll show you that as well. I just want to complete this one. Okay, let it go to stop state. In the meanwhile, let's operate on the windows. So go see the windows. For windows, this is our volume, 30 GB. I'll just go ahead, do a right click and say modify volume. And without taking any snapshot, I can go ahead, change its type, right? And also I can, you know, increase, you know, change its volume as well. Let me make it 50. All right, I'll say modify. It says it takes some, you know, time for performance changes to take full effect. You may need to extend OS file system on the volume to use any newly allocated space. So you might have to log into the operating system and maybe increase that partition size, right? So that's something you can log in and do, but you don't have to create any snapshot or do anything. Just say yes, and it will go ahead and modify your that particular volume. So the 30 will become 50. And let us see it. It is getting modified, if you see. It is modifying. And in the meanwhile, let's see, the instance has stopped. So that means we should be able to go and detach this older 8GB from the Linux. 
we'll say detach oh yes it is detached now cool now we should go ahead and uh, the new 100 GB which is there this I will go ahead and try to attach to the instance we'll just search it Linux and remember because we want to make it uh, we want to make it the root volume we'll go ahead and say slash dev slash xpta we'll attach this all right uh, all right so uh, this is in use now uh, i can go ahead and just start this instance and good so right so it will come back in the meanwhile let's see the windows one if you see the windows uh, it is in use though we, we can go ahead and use the instance at this time and uh, uh, the size has already changed from 30 to 50 so i showed you both the mechanisms right uh, that which you can use so uh, earlier it was necessary that you take snapshot and from the snapshot you had to create a new volume now it is possible to just go ahead and modify as such so this came up very recently and i wanted to cover this aspect uh, i hope you find this useful you can go ahead and create snapshot from the command line as well or as we did from the ui you can go ahead and also uh, you know write cron job and you can schedule this uh, this particular uh, snapshot activity so uh, if you want that uh, for in for for a particular instance you want to take regular backup of that particular instance it would be a wise thing to schedule the snapshot right so you can schedule it either via cron job or via windows schedule task or you can write a lambda function as well and uh, uh, that will help in creating your snapshots snapshots uh, are really uh, you know it's really easy you can also copy the snapshot from one region to another for example if this snapshot is there in one region i can go ahead do a right click and i can copy it to another region as well if i want right or if i want to you know make an encrypted uh, copy of the snapshot i can just you know take this and within here i can copy it and make it encrypted i'll cover the encrypted one later for now i think this is good enough and our instance uh, you know will be back in a while um, i hope you find it useful there are a lot more videos coming in if you have any particular request please go ahead and write it in the link below and i would request you to share this with your friend so that they can also learn have a great learning bye bye thank you